Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video demo, I would like to talk about the essentials of data structures. Okay, let's start. Let me begin by first drawing three curves and then deriving points from them. Okay, I'm going to associate these three curves to Grasshopper. Right mouse click, set multiple curves. And I'm going to put a divide curve component to generate points from them. Let's keep the point count a bit lower. Okay, I'm going to hide the original curves and they are associated uh, display on Grasshopper so that I can see the points better. Okay, so you can see that I have a uh, three rows of points. Now I will want to put a panel to see our result. Okay, you can see that the results are placed into three category or sections. Basically this category of sections are the branches and the address of the branch is as indicated on the top right hand corner over here. So this address corresponds to that of this branch, this to this branch, and this to this branch. Now, of course, these are the individual items within each branch. And if we want to see the data structure better, we can go to params utility and select the parent viewer and plug our result to it. And you can see that it's telling us that this result has a data with three branches. And if you want to see this graphically, you can do a right mouse click and select draw tree and you'll be able to see the result, the structure graphically. In this case, are uh, three branches. Okay, now I want to talk about some of the various ways that the result can be restructured. Okay, and these various ways can be assessed by right clicking over your result socket selecting the corresponding uh, methods okay namely uh, they are this view the reverse the flatten the graph and simplify i'm not going to talk about reverse because its name is self explanatory basically it's a reversing of the uh, list of results okay i want to talk about flatten graph and simplify if you want to apply let's say a simplify to your result you can simply select it and you notice that there'll be an icon indicating that you have applied the process. And you can see that our uh, branch has been simplified, which reduces complexity by removing empty branches. However, I do not like to use this method because sometimes it's very hard to see what have you applied, especially when the definition gets pretty complex. So Let's take this out. What I will normally have to do is to place this uh, restructuring process as separate components. Okay, so let's say I want to put the uh, simplify, which I'm going to do now. I can double click and type simplify three. Okay, and we can see our result better. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. And let's do a comparison. Okay, you can see over here that um, this is uh, before the simplify and this is after the simplify. Okay, you can see that the, the branches have been simplified. Okay. And in the panel, we can see that the branch address has also been simplified. Now it's only single segmented. Okay. So this is the simplify function which reduces complexity by removing empty branches. Now let's talk about the flatten. Okay, I'm going to put a flatten tree to show the flatten effect. Okay, and I'm going to plug this here. 
and let's see the result. Okay, you notice that when you apply a flatten, the result has been placed as a single list or single branch. Okay, you see a single branch. So what the pattern does is that it collapses the branches into a single branch. Let's put a parent viewer. Okay. Okay, see. Data with one branch. Okay, so what happened was that let me uh, bring this back. Okay. What happened was that the individual branches has been collapsed into a single branch. Basically, this second branch has been uh, placed below the first one, and then the subsequent ones placed below uh, it as well. So, in the end, we'll have uh, a single branch instead. So, you might be wondering what is the potential application of this flattened tree? Okay, I want to uh, illustrate it by using the, the control points, by using the points to create uh, curves. Okay, so let me remove this flattened tree first. Okay, basically what I want to do is to create some curves. And I'm going to use the interpolate component. Okay, so I, uh, without... Uh, Utilizing any of the restructuring, I'm plugging the points result to the vert vertex input of the interpolate, and you can see that what I got is three curves. Okay, this is because I have three branches. Okay, so what Grasshopper did was simply creating the curves by passing through the points in each branch okay in this way okay however what if i wanted is um only a single curve where the points are being structured continuously as a single row okay to do that i can use the flatten okay so I'm going to put that now, flatten tree, plug these points to it instead, and then uh, plug the, the result into the interpolate component. And you can see that, yeah, now what we got is a single curve that's been created, that's passing through all the points, okay? So this is, uh, potential application of the flatten okay now um, I want to talk about the graph tree and let's put the graph tree into our canvas and then let's see the result we'll put panel Okay, over here we can see that what graph tree does is that it put the individual items onto individual branches. That means each item is now on its uh, own branch. Okay, so you might be wondering what are the potential application of this. So let me uh, go back to the points again to illustrate a potential application of graph okay so let's say in in our case here what I wanted to do is to have the points being uh, viewed individually and to have each individual point uh, being used to generate a curve okay so what I'm going to do is let me remove all this stuff first. Okay. I'm going to put um a move component to create another set of 
are points okay so i'm the points are grafted and have them placed onto individual branches and now i'm going to take this individually uh grafted points and then duplicate them using the move okay so i'm going to plug this here and let's move this new set of points higher okay so you can see like i got like a new set of uh, points okay and now um let's bring back our interpolate curve component okay and now i'm going to plug um our grafted result okay um sorry be before that what i need to do is to merge um these two results into a single um structure and to do that i'm going to use the merge component and to merge the first uh, data, which is the first grafted tree result, and then the move result as a uh, data two. Okay. Okay. Let me just um put a parent viewer. Okay, to let you see. Uh, okay, you can see that the grafted tree uh, created a data with eight, eighteen branches. And of course, the moved component will also have created the same number of branch. In the case of merge, right? Um, what it does is that it merge the corresponding um I I item to that of the other I item on on the on the move uh, result okay so if i were to put the parent viewer you see that i'm still having 18 branches okay still having 18 branches and if i were to take this result this merge result and connect it to the interpolate curves what i get is yep individual sets of curves been created okay this one have not been possible if I do not have the graph tree uh, be implemented over here. Okay. Let me do a demo to let you see that if I do not have this graph tree, what will happen? Okay, if I do not have this graph tree, uh, let me do uh, this disconnect all. Okay. If I do connect this directly to here and then the result we we connect to here you can see that what i got is a totally different result because the rows the points are passing through through a different structure because these points are on on uh branch branches they are of a different structure whereas if i were to use the graph tree uh the individual points are put on individual branch and their tasks can be able to be used to generate curves in this manner okay so with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye